Hello again. In this video, I will show you how to make your very own Canis avatar for VRChat using SkinEdit. The video is cut up into multiple chapters that highlight all of the important steps, so feel free to skip forward to whichever part you need help with. Keep in mind that the Canis avatar and SkinEdit are paid assets that you will need to own to follow along with this tutorial. The first thing you need to do is download and install Unity. If you click on the download Unity link in the video description, you get taken to the webpage that contains all of the Unity downloads that you will need. On this page, there is a click here to download Unity Hub link, which takes you to the download page. On this page, you want to press the download Unity Hub button. When the download finishes, open the installer and follow all of the prompts it gives you. After you complete the setup, you want to return to the download Unity link in the video description and press the click here to install the current version of Unity via Unity Hub link. In the add Unity version pop-up, you can uncheck all of the modules and press install because you don't need any of them. Now you have to wait for Unity to install. This can take a while, so it's a great time to grab a drink. When Unity is finished installing, you can switch to the Projects tab and create a new project. Make sure to give it a name and save it to a memorable location on your computer, then press Create. After your Unity project is done loading, we can start importing all of the required Unity packages. The first package you should download and import is the VRChat SDK. There is a download VRChat SDK link in the video description which automatically downloads the latest VRChat SDK. When it is done downloading, you can open the file which should start the importing process in Unity. After the SDK is done importing, you should import the Dynamic Bones package into your project. This step might no longer be necessary in the future when VRChat releases their own physics bones, so be sure to check the video description for any updates. When you are done importing those packages, it's time to download and import the avatar files as well as the skin edit package. After you have purchased them through Gumroad, you should be able to access them through your email receipt or through your Gumroad library. When downloading the avatar package, make sure you download the one specifically labeled for VRChat use. And when downloading the skin edit package, make sure you take a second to leave a positive product rating as well. Import the avatar package into your project first. Depending on the package size, this may take a while. After the avatar is done importing, you can import the skin edit package into your project. When skin edit is done importing, it should show you a pop-up confirming that the installation was successful and if you installed all the needed packages correctly. It also has a button that automatically opens the editor and takes you to the right place to start customizing your avatar. I personally like docking the editor to the right so that I have lots of space to look at the real-time preview in the Unity scene. If you accidentally close the editor, you can also reopen it by selecting the avatar in the scene and pressing the Open in Editor button. The editor has many options to help you customize your new avatar. It comes with accessory categories that let you attach different items to your avatar. There is also a height slider that lets you adjust the size of your avatar. It also lets you adjust all of the blend shapes, which allow you to change the body shape of the avatar. And of course, it comes with all the options for color customization. For every avatar, I include some presets to show off what kinds of things you can make with SkinEdit and give you a foundation to work on. You can of course also decide to make something completely from scratch. This part is up to you. Play around and experiment with colors and all the options and create an avatar that you really love. When you want to inspect the high quality version of your avatar, press the save button and it will automatically render the detailed version for you. When you are happy with your avatar, it's time to upload to VRChat. 
To start uploading your avatar, press the prepare for upload button in the skin edit editor. That will automatically optimize and prepare your avatar to be efficient for VR chat, and that may take a moment. When SkinEdit is done optimizing your avatar, it should open VRChat's upload menu. Log in with your VRChat account and press Build and Publish for Windows. After some more processing, you can give your avatar a name and decide whether you want your avatar to be private to you or available for everyone. If you want, you can also adjust the VRC cam object in the scene to upload a nice picture with your avatar. After uploading, your new avatar is now available in VRChat. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you and that you've enjoyed using SkinEdit to create your avatar. Enjoy your new avatar and hopefully see you soon.